Good evening. How are you feeling? I'm almost feeling good today. I had the day off today, which was nice. I woke up at like 4.45, which was not nice, unfortunately. Even on my days off in the summer, Japanese summer, I just can't sleep in. The whole house is full of light. Uh, for some reason, both my kids were also up this morning, like super, super early. So I heard them making noise. So I felt like I had to get out of bed too, even though only one of them had school today. So I don't know why they were both up so early. So it ended up just being me and Shanoa, my daughter, for the day. As mentioned previously, her school is just closed for the rest of the week. I had today off, so we had the day off together. We both took our last batch of medicine this morning. And I think we're both pretty close to on the mend. She felt good enough to go shopping. I felt good enough to drive the car to go shopping. And we went to Costco. And I know how Costco gets sometimes, so we got to Costco very, very early. We did all our business right away. They actually opened a little bit early this morning. And we just took care of everything. And then we sat down, and we both had pizza. And let me tell you, after a week of feeling like crap, I think this goes for both of us, after a week of just feeling like garbage, that pizza was amazing. I felt so good. All day since eating that pizza. So you know what? Maybe old video games are right. Maybe the answer is you just eat a, bunch, eat a bunch of pizza and all of a sudden you're healed. Now, obviously my throat and nose are still a little stuffed up, but yeah, I just feel so much better. I didn't take any medicine. I took pizza today. And pizza cured my wounds. <laughs> anyway, it was very cute because Shinoa got uh, one piece of pizza, but Costco pizza is very big. So then she tried, she tried to cut it in half, which is really hard, which is very hard to do because it's very thick and covered in cheese. So she kind of ate half a slice of cheese, slice of cheese pizza, and then she kind of just gave up and told me that she's full. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I can help you eat that pizza, which obviously I was happy to do. But, you know, some days being a dad is tough because some days when the kids don't want to eat their food and you got to eat everything... <clears throat> it can be a lot, you know. Definitely, when I go, when I take vacations in America, I try to eat, I try to order less food for myself because I know what's going to happen. The kids are going to leave so much food behind that I'm going to have to eat up after them. And it's a responsibility. <clears throat> it's not one I can shirk. I can't just send back a bunch of garbage food. So... Yeah, but after that happened and we came back home, it was just a very, very quiet day because my sh <sighs> I tried to get her to do her homework. And all of a sudden she said she was tired, which is like, I can't fault her for that. She's been sick all week, so of course she could be tired. But boy, she took a nap for like four hours. <laughs> she was just napping for like four hours, so I don't know. I don't know if that was her disease or if she just really, really wanted to... It's not do homework, but she took a long nap, and now here I am at the end of the night, and I feel like I could really use a nap. <coughs> but instead, I think I just go to sleep, because the virus is still in my body. Pizza covered it up for most of the day, but now it's rearing its head. I've been awake for well over 12 hours, closer to 14 at this point, and... It's time. It's time to throw away the rest of Friday night and just go to sleep, I think. Anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow with all of us home on a Saturday. Will the weather hold up? Will I go to the movies? Will I just take that nap tomorrow? Anyway, please look forward to a video of No Consequence tomorrow. Good night, everybody. I love you.